In today's digital era, our lives are deeply intertwined with the online world, making the issue of porn and its accessibility a growing concern. This unspoken truth hides behind the bright screens of our smartphones and computers. As we wake up and scroll through social media from TikTok to Instagram to Snapchat, we are unknowingly greeted with content that edges closer and closer to what many might call soft porn. So why does this matter, and what does it say about our society's desensitization towards explicit content? It's become increasingly normal for individuals, particularly women, to post revealing photos or perform suggestive dances on social media platforms. This shift in content norms has blurred the lines defining pornography. It's not just about the changing content on social media, but also about how porn addiction is perceived and affects people of all genders. Contrary to popular belief, the demographic engaging with pornographic material is diversifying, and the ways in which women and men interact with such content differ significantly due to their intrinsic psychological and emotional makeup. The narrative around porn addiction often overlooks its subtle beginnings. For example, romance novels, a seemingly innocent medium, often contain explicit sex scenes that serve as many individuals' first unintentional exposure to pornographic material. The algorithms powering our favorite apps play a significant role in the content we are exposed to daily. Notably, there's a stark difference in recommended content based on the gender specified upon registration on platforms like TikTok. The tailored content, especially that recommended to male users from the outset, often leans heavily towards the explicit, indicating an underlying assumption by these platforms about what users want to see. Platforms such as OnlyFans have demonstrated the lucrative potential of the adult entertainment industry, with individuals able to earn significant incomes through explicit content. However, beyond the immediate monetary gain, there are deeper implications and consequences for both content creators and consumers. Acknowledging the problem is the first step toward combating the desensitization towards porn and its pervasive presence in our culture. The cycle of porn addiction feeds into a loop of instant gratification followed by guilt, shame, and eventual desensitization. Overcoming such addiction requires awareness and for many, a turning towards faith and a higher power. To address these issues, we must promote digital literacy and responsible content creation, encouraging users to consider the implications of their posts and supporting platforms that enforce community guidelines against explicit material. Now that we've uncovered America's hidden crisis, let's delve deeper into the psychological and social impact of pornography. Pornography is not just a private matter, its ripple effects extend into our mental health, relationships, and society at large. According to a study by the American Psychological Association, consistent consumption of pornographic material can lead to increased feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and depression. This is especially prevalent among young adults who are still developing their sense of self and emotional resilience. Experts like Dr. Gail Dines, a sociologist and anti-pornography activist, argue that the normalization of pornographic content disrupts healthy sexual development and expectations. She states, Pornography gives a distorted view of sex and relationships, often emphasizing violence, misogyny, and unrealistic body standards. Statistics further illustrate this concern. A survey conducted by the Barna Group revealed that 64% of young people aged 13, 24, actively seek out pornography weekly or more often. This frequent exposure can desensitize individuals, making it harder to form genuine emotional connections. In relationships, this often manifests as decreased satisfaction and intimacy, as partners may struggle to meet the unrealistic standards set by pornographic content. Moreover, the societal implications are profound. The porn industry, valued at over $97 billion globally, perpetuates harmful stereotypes and exploitation. It contributes to the objectification of individuals, particularly women, reducing them to mere commodities for consumption. This commodification is evident in the alarming rise of revenge porn and non-consensual sharing of intimate images, which can devastate victims' lives and reputations. The impact extends to the workplace as well. A report by the Internet Watch Foundation found that one in ten employees admitted to watching pornography during work hours, which can lead to decreased productivity and a toxic work environment. So, what can be done? Experts recommend a multifaceted approach, starting with comprehensive sex education that promotes healthy relationships and realistic expectations. Digital literacy programs can also empower individuals to navigate online content responsibly and recognize the manipulative tactics used by the porn industry. 
Therapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, and support groups can provide a safe space for individuals struggling with porn addiction to discuss their experiences and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Faith-based organizations also play a crucial role, offering spiritual guidance and community support to those seeking to overcome addiction. As we continue this journey, let's remember that awareness and education are our best tools in combating the pervasive influence of pornography. By fostering open conversations and supporting each other, we can reclaim our mental health, strengthen our relationships and build a more respectful society. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for the next chapter, where we'll explore practical steps to combat porn addiction and promote a healthier digital culture. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful content.